and we are recording. Hi everyone, I'm Jess and this is a tasting video for our April Coffees of the Month. I'm here with Mariana Rego, she's a product manager for an ed tech company here in Miami. And as it relates to coffee, I just learned that you have a pretty interesting family history in the coffee world. I do! So my grandmother, my dad's mom, was born on a coffee farm. Her grandparents immigrated from Europe, yeah, it was really cool. And they started this business that grew to be seven plantations. Okay. Yeah, which is really cool. And then her grandfather actually passed away when he was young. So her grandmother was like managing the business, going around some Paulo in her little horse-drawn carriage. Girl boss. Girls bossing it up in the 1800s. Yes. Amazing, I love it. Love it. So today, we're going to be tasting a coffee from Indonesia. It's our first coffee from Asia. And we're going to compare it to a coffee from Honduras, which is from that Central America region that we've been exploring over the past few months. Right. And as you're tasting, I'm going to introduce to you and you um, a new tool that you can use to further your taste testing skills. If you have something called the coffee flavor wheel, it makes it so easy just to look at the different categories of flavors and then just ask yourself, am I getting fruit? You have to know if yes, what kind of fruit is it? Is it citrusy? Is it tropical? Um, or is it on the more savory, you know, sweetness of a tomato or something like that? We're having the Sumatra, right? Yes. definitely get some of the woodsy flavors that they're famous for. Green tea that you would get at a traditional... Mm -hmm. like, like a miso soup or something. Yes. Maybe I'm just miso, making... for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I was tasting it the other day and there was this brightness that I could not put my finger on but I knew it was sort of tropical. And then I landed on guava. Actually, Jeff called that out, and I thought that was perfect. Yeah, so what else? A vegetable. Yeah, like a shiitake or something like that. <laughs> you know, like not. This is the most com interesting coffee that we've had. It's going to take you to some tropical places. It's going to take you to the forest where you're picking mushrooms. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then it's going to take you to your local sushi spot for some awesome green tea. And, yeah. And then for the Honduras, did you get a chance to sip this? Yeah. I'm actually getting, I'm actually getting like a, a lemony, citrusy kind of. That's a great call. The first thought that came to my head was there was a graininess, um, like pretzel or malt or something like that, which I think is really cool, but I couldn't place my finger on the acidity I was getting and I think you're spot on. That was an awesome tasting and I learned what I love is, um, again, if your vocabulary off the top of your head is based off of the foods you're used to eating or thinking about, um, this was enlightening for me just to think, like, I, my brain doesn't go there usually to miso soup or green tea. Like after a while you're drinking it and you're like, I can't believe I didn't get that before. And the next time I have a coffee that has those notes, I'm going to be able to pinpoint that. It's going to be fresher in my mind. So have fun with these coffees. I hope this was fun for you. It was great. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thanks, Mari. And if you'd like to order these, visit the website. Shoot me an email if you have any questions about it. And we'll see you next month.